I love owning multiple dogs and here I am with my friends Charlie and Maggie and you know if you don't have a good strategy you may end up closing your dogs in separate rooms you may end up playing musical dogs you may end up walking your dogs separately but it doesn't have to be that way it can be really easy and fun first for walking skills teach the dogs to walk nicely individually first and if that's accomplished then when you walk them together put your right thumb through the loop grab, grab the slack of the leash with your forefingers the dog on the outside gets a little bit more slack than the dog on the inside okay let's go if one of the dog's legs you notice how i'm kind of jumping into the leash if they forge drop the slack and go because that will bring their attention back to you. Good girls. Maggie said, Charlie said, sometimes the dogs will switch positions and uh, that's okay with me. I just adjust the amount of slack in that case, accommodating the outside dog with more slack than the inside dog. But if you've got one dog that's kind of a stinker and needs to be kept under better control, that dog needs to be on the inside and stay on the inside. Um, so that you have better access to enforce things like the no pulling rule and enforcing your sit or your down or your come commands. By the way, I've got to tell you what this area is about. Um, this is Iolani Palace. It's the only palace in the United States. And over here is my library, the state library. Hard to see through the trees. Um, and then across the street is the state help with your two dogs if you've got a multi-pet household and things aren't going quite this smoothly I sympathize and I'd like to help until we speak 